West 2 News starts now with breaking news. That breaking news, the car wanted in an armed carjacking in Seminole County has now been linked to a murder in Orange County. And an Orange County deputy has been arrested, accused of interfering in the investigation. We have live team coverage tonight. West News Haley Grumbo home is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office with details on the deputy's arrest. But we begin with Dave McDaniel live at the Seminole County Sheriff's Office with new details on that carjacking and murder. Dave. Well, they've been looking for a green Acura ever since that occurred Thursday afternoon. And we found out today, late in the afternoon, from Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima that that green Acura was found abandoned in an Orange County apartment complex over the weekend. He also adding that they believe that car was at two different crime scenes a day apart. April 10th, a tow truck driver was murdered in Orange County. Uh, at that scene, a green vehicle matching the description of this green vehicle. Uh, was located and there was more than 100 rounds fired at that location. One of the rounds found at the scene were 10 millimeter rounds. Same car at the Orange County murder scene and the sheriff saying that unique car was behind Catherine Aquas Vivas when she was carjacked in Seminole County the very next day. Forced to drive to Osceola County where shots were heard and likely her SUV was found burning with a body inside. 12 shell casings were found, 10 millimeter, just like some of the rounds in the Orange County case. Investigators still do not know why she was in Central Florida. They say her husband is cooperating, but they also suggest he may know more than he's offered so far. They're not calling him a person of interest in what happened to her. They remind everyone they have not found the people from inside that green Acura. We still have incredibly dangerous people that are out there on the streets. We still want to encourage uh, our public to, to, again, not approach these individuals. They should be perceived as uh, armed and dangerous. And again, the sheriff's office saying they believe that woman was targeted, but they're not saying exactly why she was targeted. Also saying that she was being rammed as she drove in Seminole County, but never called 911, but called her husband instead. And even after he was called, he never made a call to 911 as well. But again, they're saying she was targeted. And in Orange County, they're saying the man who was killed the day before the carjacking in Seminole County, they say he was also targeted. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. The Seminole County Sheriff also shared more information tonight about the Orange County deputy arrested, accused of sharing information with the victim's husband. West 2's Haley Crumahome is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office right now with what led up to those charges. Haley? So the Seminole County Sheriff's Office says that the Orange County deputy is Francisco Estrella, and they say that his wife was childhood friends with Aguas Vivas' husband. Now, they say that the wife asked this Orange County deputy, Estrella, to find out what he could about a Seminole County detective who had called Aquas Vivas' husband. They say that Estrella called the detective, giving a different last name and looking for information. The sheriff's office also says Estrella recorded the conversation and that he and his wife illegally accessed a state law enforcement system, which gave them information about the people involved in investigating the case. They're getting fed all this information from the Orange County deputy. Here's where she lives. Here's the detective's name. Here's a, a recording of our conversation. So there he's feeding all that information back. Why? We're going to find out. The Seminole County Sheriff says they were able to find this all out when they forensically examined Aquas Vivas husband's phone. Estrella made his initial appearance in court this afternoon and he is facing five charges. And again, why he would share this information, why this was something that they were looking for, that's obviously still under investigation. Live in Orange County, Haley Crumble Home, West 2 News. Now, Orange County Sheriff John Mina released this statement regarding the deputy's arrest saying, these are very serious criminal allegations. It is completely unacceptable for any law enforcement officer to misuse the power and authority of their job. At the Orange County Sheriff's Office, we hold our deputies to the highest ethical standards, and we will not tolerate anyone breaking the law within our ranks. Now, there has been so many, there have been so many twists and turns in this case that spans Miami-Dade, Osceola, Orange, and Seminole County. So stay with West 2 on air and online at West.com for any updates.